All right, so now that you have a particle system, look at this, what happens um, when I play the game? This thing's just going to go off all the time. It's going to be in the scene. It's very distracting. Uh, when I want it to go off is technically when it hits something. So now you get the perfect understanding of what a prefab is. Okay, so a prefab happens not over here in the hierarchy, but over here, and it can be called out anytime I need it. In this case, I don't want this particle system to keep going off and off and off. I want a prefab. And under here, I can create a new prefab and call this explode. Doesn't really call, no matter what I call it, because I'm going to actually mount it in my new script. So now what I can do is click and drag the particle system back over here and it exists over here and I can now delete it over here there we go so explode only happens when I call it into the scene and it would look a lot like this I just called it right there and anytime I want to get rid of it I can does it delete it from here no another thing that might be nice is the bullet itself the bullet sitting over here it's acting, but it's not, it's just a physical attribute in the scene that needs to be a prefab. So in here, I'm going to create a new prefab. And we'll call this bullet. And the bullet can live now over here. And I can get rid of it over here. Perfect. This is a very short video, but I want to explain what it, a prefab was in another video because, you know, that's that's kind of a confusing, confusing thing. Why would you have a prefab? What is a prefab compared to a hierarchy game art object? And it's, it's because I don't want to see it in the scene. I want to be able to call it out anytime I need it. So go on to the next video.